Hi, I'm Brainerd Carey, and today I want to talk about art consultants. What is the role of art consultants, and what do they do for you as an artist? In Praxis Center, the online school that I co-founded with my wife, Delia Carey, we have roundtable discussions, and every week there is either a curator there or an art consultant or someone from the art world that explains how artists reach them and sell their work. Last week, we had an art consultant on named Michelle Ruith, and um, she works for Chicago Art Source. So I want to explain a little bit about what she does, as well as what other art consultants have done that I've had at the Artist Roundtable in Praxis Center. Art consultants are people who sell work to corporations, hospitals, restaurants, as well as private residences. Now that means if uh, they work project by project. So if they get the job of uh, a new hospital, for example, um, as, as Michelle was talking about uh, the art consultant last week, what that means is the, the hospital has a certain budget and they tell them what their budget is and how many works of art they need. And sometimes in the case of the hospital that she was talking about, they needed hundreds of works of art. And they had a budget that was sizable. So the way an art consultant works is they think, how are we going to spend this budget and on what? And what they do is they have a mix of original work, they have some prints, and then they also do commissions. Commissions meaning uh, there's uh, an interior lobby perhaps, and they commission a mural or a large scale artwork of some kind. So how does that work and how do you reach art consultants is what I'm going to explain in this brief talk. So the way art consultants work is first they have clients, right? Whether it's corporate or private or, uh, or in the hospitality industry, which is hotels and, um, and things like hospitals. So they have a job and the job gives them certain parameters. They have a budget. Let's say the budget is 200 or 300,000 just for art. Then they have to decide how they're going to um, divide up that budget and, and how many pieces of art they need and how they're going to do this. So the way they do that is they have a database of artists usually, and first they lay out what they're doing, like whether they want paintings, sculpture, murals, how many commissions, etc. And then they put together images of all the artwork that they're going to present to let's say the hospital or corporation or private residence. And they say, these are the artists that we're thinking of. We'd like to put these in the exam rooms. We'd like to put this in the lobby. We'd like to put this in the main atrium. And they give them some um, examples of all the artworks. And then they um, allow the client to choose along with the art consultancy, which is really a curator as well as a salesperson for your art. So then the, the corporation or, or private client you know, decides roughly which ones they like. They pay for those works, and then what the um, well, they put a deposit down, and then what the uh, art consultant does is she reaches out to the artist and says, okay, I'd like to work with you on a commission, or I'd like to get this painting from you, or I want this work on paper, or this sculpture. And in the case of a commission, the way it works is they say, look, to, to, to you as an artist, potentially we want a mural uh, that's... Um, going to be in the main lobby. This is the size of it. We want it to have this kind of uh, um, a feeling or, uh, or, 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 or a narrative or whatever it is. Uh, they probably like your work, so they want it like what you've done before. And then they pay you 50% um, down on that. So I want to be clear about how much you're getting paid, because one thing you shouldn't do with art consultants is pay them. I've had numerous art consultants in Praxis Center, and they never, ever ask artists to pay them. That's not how it works. The way it works is how I've described. They work with you know everybody from interior designers to architects to the, the major clients that I've talked about in corporations, hotels, private residencies, and what they do is they sell the work to them. And the split is usually 50-50. So if your work is $5,000 for a painting or $2,000 for a drawing, whatever it is, they pay you half of that, right? You get a thousand, they get a thousand. In the case of Michelle, who was just on, she talked about exactly how that split worked. And she said sometimes, um, 
you know, the artist even negotiates with them and says, I have to have 60-40. I want 60% of it. And she said, usually they agree. So there's room for negotiation, which is interesting, right? It's not always just a 50-50 split. Um, they pay for shipping and they pay for framing. They prefer the art unframed and they pay for framing. And, um, and that's how the, the, the process begins. And once they have your work, uh, they then they frame it and then they and then they install it in the in the in the corporation or private residence. So how do you build a relationship with these people? Because this is, uh, you know, one of the many avenues for artists where they can consistently sell work. If you're working with more than one art consultant, well, first of all, they need to uh, they need to hear from you. They need to see what your work is. So in this particular round table and Praxis Center, uh, we asked her many questions, which is, how do you find artists? How do artists reach you? Um, how, does, how do I get involved in, in working with you on something like this? And she said, well, the way you, you find me is, and the way most artists find me, is often through LinkedIn, which is very interesting, right? Because that means you could go to LinkedIn and you could also do a search for art consultants and see what you find. And you could, you know, add people to your network and then be able to send them a direct message. So um, the way she said is artists send her work, often a website, which is what she prefers, sometimes a PDF. And then maybe she writes back to the artist and then she takes that and she puts it in her file. And her file means that she has a database of artists that she's always dipping into when she has a job. So for example, an upcoming job for a large private residence where they need 20 new works or for a corporation where they need 50 new works or a hospital where they need 100 new works because it's a new building. She'll look through the database of artists, as I was saying before, and decide which ones work best, which ones she feels would be best for the job. Then she negotiates with a client about this and then makes a final decision in which she gets a check from the client and then reaches back out to you. So what that means in terms of reaching out is, is, is you have to have a certain amount of patience because you may reach someone like her, an art consultant, and say, uh, hi, you know, I'm an artist and I wanted to share my work with you and possibly collaborate. There's two things she said that's really important in that first outreach and, and your website even. Um, she wants to see the work and she wants to know what your prices are. She wants to know what the retail prices are. So um, you don't have to have the prices on your website, but if you have a number of works on your website, there should also be a, um, a price list that you're sending her along with them so she knows what the prices of the work are. Uh, that's very, very important. And then she said, let's say you go back and forth a few times with the art consultant and, um, and she thinks, great, I like your work. I'll keep in touch if there's an upcoming project. So now what happens on her end is she's waiting for projects to come in. She's waiting for checks to come in. She's waiting for clients to accept their, their package, their proposal for artists. And, and, and once they receive the check, then she can reach back out to you and say, hey, um, we're really interested in that painting, that sculpture, that drawing, this multimedia piece, or we want to commission uh, a mural or some multimedia uh, exhibition. That's really how it works. And, um, and the reason patience is needed is because she said, they're often going from, they are going from project to project, right? Job to job. So she said, we might be in between jobs or we might be very busy on three jobs and are right now working with artists. So she said, because they don't get back to you doesn't mean that you don't, you're not on their radar and that you're not of interest to them um, because you're not getting back to them because she's not getting back to you. Um, it just means that, you know, they're still waiting on a new job where you would be a good fit. So again, that's, that's kind of the whole snapshot. The big picture of all of this is you could not just work with one art consultant. You could work with several art consultants because of this waiting game where it's not like a gallery. They have a show, they sell some work, you get the money. They're going from job to job, from hotel to hotel or private client or corporation. And when one comes up and they're interested in your work, then you get the job with them. Then you get the sale. Um, so if you have three, four, or five art consultants that you're working with who have your work um, in their database, then 
you have a greater likelihood of making sales when their projects come up and when something really interesting is happening. So uh, what I would suggest is um, you write to the art consultant, introduce yourself, be friendly and, 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 and also get, get to know them, that you do know them. And that's really, that's really important to be friendly and, and not just send a letter that says, here's my artwork, let's work together. You, know, you can say, I've seen the kinds of, do a little research and say, I've seen the kind of work that, that you do and I like what you're doing. So, um, so please, I'd, I'd love to consider working with you if, if you like the work that I'm doing. Um, that's what's really uh, a good way to introduce yourself and with a, with a website link. And then, you know, hopefully you'll get a response soon. And if they have a way they want to see work, sending JPEGs, then follow up with that. But then the next step is be patient. You have to wait and see uh, what happens next, which means wait until um, they reach out to you. You can write them, you know, or add them onto your newsletter so they know what's happening or keep in touch with them once a month and say, hope all is well with you. I just wanted to send you a new work uh, to add to your, your database. That's really how it works. That's how it works with our consultants. And just one last word of, of caution over all of this is never ever pay an art consultant anything up front. There's never a reason to pay anyone to exhibit or potentially sell your work. Where an art consultant makes money is selling your work. So you've already done the work. You've made the art. And if your artwork is worth a thousand or ten thousand dollars, that's valuable to the art consultant because when they sell that work for a thousand or ten thousand dollars, you're going to get half of it, and they're going to get half of it. They get paid. If if you uh, fall into any of the kind of scams that are out there where people are asking to be paid to represent your work, paid to show your work to people, it's not valuable because they're making money off those fees, and what you want them to do is sell the work. So uh, Michelle Ruiz was one of those people. And there's other art consultants that I've also interviewed in Praxis Center. Um, and for those of you who are members watching this, you know that you can find that always in uh, the Artist Roundtable recordings in the, in the school that you're in. So I hope this is helpful to all of you. Um, art consultants are a wonderful way to get your work out into the world, all over the world, without you know shipping work everywhere or creating it all around. Um, it's a way to potentially have a steady income especially if you're working with more than one art consultant. So I, um, I wish you well. I hope this was uh, helpful because there's a lot of different definitions of what an art consultant is. You know, This is the definition of an art consultant that can actually sell your work and benefit your career. So I hope you're able to reach out to art consultants, either through LinkedIn, by a search the way I mentioned and reaching out to them, or, um, or by searching the web and finding them in other ways and reaching out to them. If you're not a member of Praxis Center and you'd like to know the names and addresses and watch the interviews with these art consultants that explain exactly how to access them, feel free to do so. The, the link is below here to join Praxis Center. Otherwise, I hope this was helpful and um, I wish you a wonderful day. And I want to thank you for being an artist because being an artist is, is one of the greatest things that um, I think you can, you can be in the world because making art is, is a gift for the world. It's a gift that wasn't asked for and it's what our culture is made for. Only through your inspiration and your motivation does the world get to have and see and potentially own the very beautiful things you are making. So I just want to end this by saying thank you very much for being an artist.